Uh, how do you envisage uh, what you what changes you bring about now, which will have fruition over the course of the next three months, six months, twelve months, albeit over the next three, four, five years as well? Because you've been quote unquote bracketed as this traditional hundred cc dominant company, which is now trying to or which is turning around and doing a lot more beyond that as well. Yeah, uh, absolutely. And and you can see, uh, I'll just give you two, three uh, pointers towards that. Uh, let's, we had talked about our, our strategy of uh, building a full portfolio premium, right up to 400 CC plus, if you see even three years back, we've talked about that mm -hmm. and our R&D teams have been working on that. Uh, our extension to uh, putting a tech center in Germany has helped on that. You can see that we've launched the 440 CC Harley Davidson in within less than three years of signing the agreement. That means our R&D has come of age. Uh, we launched Charisma uh, in the 200 plus CC bracket. We have another 440 CC which is coming up in this quarter. So you can clearly see that from a 100 and 125 CC game, which were, of course, that served its purpose, by the way. As Hero, as a company, we've been at the forefront of providing mobility to masses I mean, providing wheels to millions of Indians, 112 million, is a big daunting task which we have done. And now, of course, we are uh, very seriously on this premium wave. And you can already see some products launched, more products in the offing, plus revamping not just product portfolio, we are revamping our stores. In the last 300 days, we have revamped 300 of our stores. 300 stores in 300 days. We are calling it Hero 2.0 stores. Mm -hmm. Uh, new premium stores launched, which will have just exclusive premium products. So which will create the brand imagery, as well as of course, be a selling point. Three we have launched in this calendar year, we will take them to 100 plus. So we are in everything that we are doing, we are talking scale, we are talking speed, we are talking synergy. For instance, we decided to use our hero dealers for selling our EV product. So therefore from three cities, we are moving to 100 plus cities and 100 plus dealers in just nine, 10 months period of time. So sp speed, scale, synergy, and of course, simplification. Mm -hmm. How do you simplify the org structure? How do you simplify the ways we work? These are the four S mantras that we are driving now. So, well, there is, there is Maverick and it's caught the imagination, but there are 650 plus CC bikes, right? I mean, that's, that's something that not people would have thought of uh, from Hero's table. So tell us, a bit about this strategy and about what can we expect on this front in 2024, say. You're absolutely right. If you look at 150 CC plus, uh, you talked about, and the number of products will only go up as we move forward. Mm -hmm. um, so what you expect is that in each of our product, we, we will have at least one first in class and one best in class feature. Mm -hmm. And that powered by the brand association that we are creating that powered by the premium stores that we are creating. And more importantly, the less spoken is that's powered by the entire digital journey that we are putting in place. I would say that in auto, we talk about a lot about product. We don't talk about the digital uh, that, uh, that you can put in place to enable. We are putting in place a full digital journey on the customer for the premium, right from the time customer comes in touch with us first time from a booking or even understanding the product to actually the delivery from the full digital journey, which will be embedded with this upmarket physical stores. That's a big move that we are doing in that space. And all of this, as you will see over the next three to five years, as the portfolio builds up and everything builds up, uh, we aim to win in premium and therefore a meaningful market share. While I'll not give out a number, but, but for sure, we are moving in very, very uh, surely and with speed. So traditionally, I remember all through my commenting years, uh, the talk was, was that if rural picks up, you can expect the fortunes of Hero Motocop on the bourses to pick up as well. Now, my question to you is, uh, for 2024, could, still, could that still be a factor? And would you expect rural to pick up? And would that change uh, by, let's say, 2025 or 2026, that it need not be a rural pickup that will determine what Hero Motocop does on the bourses? I'm not asking you to comment on share price, but I'm Understood. essentially talking about Understood. the fundamentals of the company. Understood. As far as the drivers, let, let me pick it up from the drivers of growth perspective. Yes. Yes, our drivers of growth earlier was hinged upon more on the rural and more on this one. As we are moving forward and very rapidly, you would see that drivers of growth are moving through the urban centric towards more premium. So 
and rural of course we still at the entry segment at the 100 110 we are the lead market share player our role there will be to expand the category it's not about market share anymore and i can tell you there's huge opportunity even there okay because you have lots of indians almost 400 million people who do not have mobility means of mobility so india is not fully penetrated by any stretch of imagination it is only a question of that class coming back to income and coming back to consumption and spending the need is there so our role there is to expand the category as far as premium is concerned our role is to build our portfolio to win in premium yeah. and therefore you see more and more products coming there on that stable but we'll continue to expand the category at the bottom end and obviously win as far as premium is concerned expand our portfolio at the top end so expand the category at the bottom end expand the portfolio at the top end that's what the strategy is. even as you do both simultaneously the yeah. drivers for growth uh, going ahead will not necessarily hinge largely on this it could probably be a mix of the both shape, the shape of portfolio will keep changing okay yeah but i would say india is a story of many indias now while rather than solely being dependent on the growth in the rural it will be now growth coming from all classes mm -hmm. which is bottom up pyramid which is middle and the premium and upper premium mm -hmm. so we'll be participating in the growth of each of these segments which earlier we were not able to because we did not have the portfolio while driving growth at the bottom end of the pyramid driving growth in rural so that's our responsibility to drive growth there to drive category there and participate in the growth as far as premium is concerned